Hi everybody, welcome to the Fragrance Lair, and today I have for you is an unboxing and first impression. Today's video will be based on Tommy Bahama Set Sail St. Bart's. Ooh. Now before we get into the presentation box and everything, we'll get into the little details. Um, this is a citrus aromatic released in 2007. The notes are lime, tequila, salt, guava, green notes, vanilla, musk, and palm leaf. Okay, now with that in mind, I am excited for this. Now, the one little thing that's curtailing my excitement is the dreaded word eau de cologne. Lasting power isn't very well. As you saw in my countdown videos, that the other Tommy Bahama was low was low on my list because the um it struggled with um longevity and performance and whatnot and silliage. So let's see if this one can maybe fight out the demons that the other one had. But I'm not too confident since it's an eau de cologne rather than an eau de cologne. All right. Well, anyways, the box. This would be me seeing this with the all this stuff. Just imagine going on to a cruise and the cruise director gives you a complimentary fragrance to wear on the cruise. Now, on that cruise, you would be going to a tropical island and maybe hanging out with the family, whatnot, to have you on the cruise with. So, yeah, I like the box. It kind of brings me away from the um, cold bitterness outside right now in New York. Don't like that cold at all. Not at all. Burr. So, anyways. This brings me back to a warmer place, maybe like Cancun, Bahamas, Bermuda, maybe Costa Rica, Dominican Republic, wherever you want to go that's warm and kind of tropical. But anyways, yeah, pretty cool box, nothing really um, overly impressive. It gets the message across, you know you're kind of buying a tropical fragrance, it's not going to, you're not going to smell this and then it's not going to be like oud and freaking um, Incense. It was not, it's not going to be that. It's going to be tropical. It's going to be kind of like um, fruity, salty. You, you get what you get with this box. So let's open it up and see what else is in here besides the box. Okay. Ow. Ow. Here cut. Now. Okay. Cool bottle, bro. Liking that. Got the um, Saint Bart's Time Bahama right there. Got the um, little palm tree right there really point bringing across the um, tropical feeling to it it's kinda hard to get that in view but you can kinda see it kinda right there you can see it on the bottom you got some information it's extremely hard to see I know but yeah got all that information eau de cologne vaporizer thing it does in French I think 3.4 fluid ounces, 100 ml. Cap, you got the, the rope, which is kind of like nautical feeling to it. The rope that you would tie a boat down to onto a dock when you're loading off, running on. This is, it's nice. I like the bottle design. It's a heavy duty bottle, nice glass. I like the quality of the bottle when it comes to the glass, is a very important thing to me. I mean, if the fragrance smells really good, but the bottle sucks, I'll live with it. But the bottle design, the bottle quality is good. Now, the cap, you feel it already. Cap's a, cap's a disaster. Very cheesy cap. That's the inside of the cap. Cap's cheesy. Very, very um, cheesy cap. What are you going to do? Can't smell anything off the cap. Which is good. Alright, but let's spray it and I'll give you my first impressions. Now, with this, the top notes are lime and tequila. So, we're looking for that. Let's see if we can find it. Can't smell anything off the sprayer, which is good. So the sprayer works. Good sprayer. Good. Now, what do I get? Limes. Off the bat, limes. Mm, very good lime. Mm, smells good. Very, very nice. Very appealing. Uh, when I close my eyes, sitting on an, on a cruise boat, just. Watching the water go by as I'm headed off to a, 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 a um, tropical island. That's what I think. And I got a I got tequila in hand. Now the lime is settling in. I'm getting the tequila, a little bit of the salty vibe from it. It's starting to get down to the middle. 
and then it kind of drops down all the way into the base, and you pick up that that vanilla. The guava, I don't really get much guava. What I'm getting right now is lime, tequila, some salt, and some vanilla. That's the main players in this, to my nose. But as it dries down, you can it can change and turn into different things. Right now, it's those. Very nice. The lime has done great here. I mean, it feels like a a synthetic lime, not necessarily a very real and um, natural lime. Uh, it's, that doesn't mean it's bad. It just what do you expect the Tommy Bahama? It's a designer. It's kind of on the cheaper end, but it doesn't mean that it's not good. Just you can tell that it's synthetic, but nevertheless, very good. I'm enjoying this thoroughly. And I'm also assume I'm also feeling it just has a little bit more strength to it than the other Tommy Bahama I own. So I'm looking forward to maybe lasting a little bit. But by no means will this be able to play outside in the cold weather. If it's snowing, just don't even look at the bottle. Don't look at it. It's good just for warm weather. From June to September, this thing can be rock. Maybe in May. Depends on how warm it is and where you live. But, yeah. So, the vanilla is coming through a little bit. It's... it's the vanilla is also very is, is also synthetic. Everything in here, when you do smell it, the tequila, the salt, the lime, the vanilla, it's all synthetic. Doesn't mean it's bad. I'm not saying it's bad. It's not very natural, but nevertheless, it smells good. I like it. This thing could crack the top 30. Could see how it plays as I'm wearing it more and more. Cause it's right now I'm focusing on it and maybe if I'm walking around with it on one day I can just maybe get a whiff of it like wow I didn't get that before I like that or maybe I'll get something I don't like maybe the musk might come out a little too strong or maybe the salt might really overpower but for right now it's very nice the lime plays hard this is the limes are a very very prominent player in this fragrance Everything else isn't as prominent as the lime. The lime is what makes this fragrance. It's a lime-based fragrance in my mind. But which by no means isn't a bad thing. I'm happy there's a lot of lime in this. I was looking forward to the lime. But. Synthetic. Which is kind of a flaw in it. But. I didn't. It's not like this is a $150 fragrance and the lime comes off um, synthetic. Then that would be a problem. It's a cheapie but a goodie. So you kind of expect synthetic qualities to it. But. Still very good. You can tell it's lime. The synthetic lime is there, but it's not overly synthetic where it's kind of nauseating. It's pleasant. You, I can get many comp. I can probably get a lot of compliments on this. It's a nice, pleasing scent. It's not really gonna offend anybody. It doesn't have like the offensive oud or maybe kind of the too strong incense or what else is kind of offensive. Um, maybe like no, there's no like um hemp in it or it's this is not black afghano. No, no joke. This is not gonna offend anybody unless they're like alerted to it, but this is pretty pleasing. Pleasing. So, all right, everybody. This has been Tommy Bahama Saint Bart's overall good lime fragrance. If you want a lime that's cheap and it can and it can um you know be lime, I'll do the lime for you. Get this. I would totally recommend it. But if you're looking for something that's really gonna jump out at you and really gonna um turn some heads, then this might not be for you. Alright guys, this has been Fragrance Slayer. Have a great day or night. I'm not Time Zone Prejudiced. Thanks for watching all my videos and tune in next week for another stellar video. Alright guys and girls, bye. Thanks.